Okay, I'm going to give you a demonstration of our VXH264 Pro app. It's used on our iPads and iPhones and it's uh, used in conjunction with our commercial DVRs. If we open up the app, we've got a number of sites which we look after. Choose a car dealership in Stockport. First camera that it always goes to is channel 1. And channel 1 on this particular site is a pan tilt which reacts to sensors. So it's just seen that guy there. Pan and tilt's moved. If we tap the screen, it gives us the menu. We've got a four cut there. Change it to four cut. Tap the screen once and it'll get rid of the menu. Now if I wanted to look at number two, double click it. You can see that guy walking past. If we then wanted to go back to number one, we can swipe the screen. Forward, backwards and go through them all. So if I go channel one, channel 16, channel 15 and so forth. Now, great function in this DVR is, no matter where you are, if I go to the search line, I can drag it to any time that I require. So if I go to nine o'clock, press play, it's gonna drag the data over the internet. That's what the pan and tilt was doing at nine o'clock. Oh, hang on. Channel two. Now I can actually speed that up two times, four times, eight times, 16 times, 32 times. You can see stuff whizzing by there. If that was what you're looking for, we can pause that. To come out of that, it's back to the timeline. And come out of that, it's back. Now this site is covering what we call PIRs, uh, they're external sensors, so when they're triggered, uh, they, in the night they uh, communicate with the monitoring station, in the day they control the pan and tilt, so the pan and tilt move into the triggers. If you want to have a look at the triggers, what went on in the night, tap the screen, go into log view. Click on alarm and then we've got the time, start time, end time. I'm going to change the end time to 9 o'clock this morning. Set that and then search it. And it's saying that it saw or its triggers were triggering at that time and it'll give you the time all the way to when the people came in on the site. So. What I can do on there now is 16, click on number 16, and it's playing back over the internet what it saw moving. So that guy there is triggered off the sensor in there. The guys are at work, so currently it's irrelevant, but in the middle of the night it's all crucial. Log view, and then back. And we're back to uh, a live view. Press the forecut. I can actually swipe through the forecut as well. He says. You see it's quite an active site. So that's the uh, bit of a brief overview of the uh, app we use with this commercial DVR. Okay, I'll show you on another site a pan and tilt so that isn't uh, reacting so much to PTZs. If I go to the sports club, 
This camera is actually a pan and tilt, but it's uh, roaming at the moment. If I take over it, pan and tilt, move it up, it moves up. Can move it back down a bit, and then I can move it right. Turn the rate up and move it a bit more right. One more. And then if need be, take it up and then we can zoom in. Pretty straightforward. That'll kick back into uh, roaming in a minute once uh, a minute's passed, and that's a pan and tilt.